Jamie Foxx is an A-lister with many hats, one of course being acting. He starred in the recent Netflix flick Project Power, which has been quick success, much like anything the man decides to work on. Hey, listen, if you haven't checked it out, check it out again tonight, man. Check it out tonight if you haven't checked it out. And just keep checking it out because it's power. Project Power. What you may not know about Jamie is that he's purchased a few incredible homes in and around Los Angeles over the years, some of which he bought for others, and his real estate is a must see for any Fox fan. I'll be giving you all the details on his mansion ranch in Hidden Valley, the home he bought for his ex, and more. I even found some of the listings. Eric Marlon Bishop, aka Jamie Fox, is an actor, singer, comedian, and producer who became widely known for his stellar portrayal of Ray Charles in the 2004 biofilm titled Ray. For for which he won an Academy Award. Jamie Foxx and Ray. This is the first Academy Award and second nomination for Jamie Foxx. He's the tenth person to be nominated in both acting categories in the same year. The man has had plenty of huge and memorable acting roles since from Django to Jarhead and continues to impress fans with his work. Since 2017, Jamie's also served as the host and executive producer for the Fox game show Beat Shazam. Then we can't forget about his comedy career starring in Living Color for many years and getting his own sitcom The Jamie Foxx Show shortly after. He's also a Grammy Award winning musician producing four albums which have made it to the top 10 charts. At the time of this recording, Jamie's net worth is at an estimated $150 million or so, and with that kind of money, he's not only been able to afford himself a gorgeous ranch property in LA to live at, but also set up more than one of his exes with homes. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're gonna take a look at where Jamie Foxx calls home, like his mansion in Hidden Valley, which actually served as its set for a famous show once upon a time, and I'll reveal which in just a little bit. I'll also take you on a tour of his Tarzana property and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also also done house tours on the likes of Denzel Washington and Julia Roberts and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. This first Jamie Foxx property was once the hub for some of the most epic star-studded parties in all of LA. The house parties he hosted at his bachelor pad in Tarzana became super popular and where his never-ending list of celeb guests would come, so take a look. This home is located in Tarzana, a neighborhood in the San Fernando Valley bordering Encino. Although it was previously a quieter area of Los Angeles, these days it's full of celebs, with residents like Chris Brown, Kaylee Cuoco, and formerly Khloe Kardashian. This home was just south of Ventura Boulevard. Jamie purchased this single story home in 1997 for only 930k, and it was built in 1949, remodeled since. It was situated on a lot spanning 0.84 acres. Although he no longer lives here, listing materials call the home a one-of-a-kind former celebrity estate. These days, the home is a modern, mid-century style build, offering nearly 6,000 square feet of space with five beds and six baths. The sprawling home has an open floor plan with large glass sliders, blending indoor and outdoor spaces, especially in the common areas. It's decked out in a tan color inside and out, and there are plenty of walls with glass and tile floors throughout. There's a sleek living room, formal dining room with an aquarium, and kitchen with top-of-the-line appliances and breakfast area. Elsewhere in the Tarzan in a home, you'll find the home movie theater and Jamie's previous master suite, sporting a private entrance, two lounge areas, double sided fireplace, a walk in closet, and ensuite with steam shower and freestanding tub. Moving outside, there's a ton of patio space surrounded by palm trees, and the flat lot allows for a true entertainer's backyard. There's a 12 car circular driveway at the front, as well as a spacious four car garage. The backyard has a large outdoor deck, oversized pool, spa, and pool house with a fitness center. Jamie's Tarzan the home also had more than one sports court, including a basketball court with the name Foxhole permanently engraved onto the pavement, which was the name of his comedy radio channel. Jamie lived here up until 2008 and made his mark on the home before moving on to his current property. Most recently, this place hit the market last year for just over $3.2 million, according to records. In 2007, Jamie purchased his current eco-friendly mansion in Hidden Valley for $10.5 million. 
Aerial shots show the massive size of the estate, and he has over 40 acres of land here. Apparently, it's around the neighborhood of Thousand Oaks, which is about 40 miles from downtown LA, so in a quieter but posh area. I'm pretty sure Britney Spears lives here too. Jamie's mega estate was built in a Mediterranean style with matching limestone throughout and spans approximately 17,000 square feet inside, with 10 beds and 12 baths. Although interior photos of this villa are slim, we've seen the grand formal entry with double staircase, high ceilings, and chandelier on Jamie's Instagram too. We also know that the mansion comes complete with a library, formal living room and dining room, extra family rooms and dens throughout, a game room, and a gourmet kitchen with gorgeous breakfast room. Not to mention elsewhere, there's a screening room and full state-of-the-art home gym. Jamie's master suite at home is also crazy impressive. It boasts a sitting room, two fireplaces, an atrium, dual private bath, sauna, and balcony. His home may be Hollywood's most environmentally conscious as aerial shots show he's installed a massive solar panel on the hillside opposite his mansion, allowing him to use the most of the California sun and use that energy to power his house. He also has solar panels next to the huge Olympic-sized swimming pool. Also on the grounds of Jamie's property, there are outdoor cabanas, playing fields, and a full customized basketball court complete with stadium-style seating. Although there used to be tennis courts there, he's a much bigger fan of basketball, so he switched things up once he moved in. Not to mention there are double guest houses and a spacious five-car garage. You'll find panoramic mountain views from anywhere on the property, and there's not much more you could ask for. There are plenty of activities to keep his kids busy, including two large trampolines, an impressive outdoor playhouse, table tennis, and trails to ride their bikes. But Jamie's favorite spot of all has got to be his private recording studio, where stars like Kelly Rowland, Drake, P. Diddy, and more have all come to record music. And remember I said they used this mansion as a show set once upon a time? Well, it was none other than one of my favorite shows, The O.C. Jamie's mansion served as the bratty character Jess Sather's palatial home, and was seen in season 3, episode 8, when Ryan pays her a visit here. Of course, this was before Jamie moved in, but it still serves as a cool little piece of Hollywood history. Before I wrap this video up, let's take a look at a place Jamie bought for someone else recently. The Oscar-winning actor shelled out $1.69 million just last year for a large house in Agora Hills, California, but it was actually to house Kristen Granis, the mother of his second daughter. This neighborhood is more suburban and located between Simi Hills and the Santa Monica Mountains in Los Angeles. According to listing of materials, this mini mansion spans 4,192 square feet with five beds, five baths, and three fireplaces. Records state the home was built in 1996 and there are still some mid-90s touches in the build, like granite counters, a double height entryway, and orange tinted hardwood floors. The lot spans almost an acre of open land but still offers plenty of privacy. Some features on the grounds include a basketball court and water slide equipped swimming pool, which give the place a resort-like vibe, not to mention perfect for families. Elsewhere, there's a barbecue and covered dining area, two playhouses, and plenty of gardens and fruit trees. Considering Jamie owns another property which he bought for Connie Klein, mother to his eldest daughter, it seems only fair that Kristen got a house from him as well. The home Jamie got for Connie is a spot out in Simi Valley, California, not far from this place, purchased in 2004 and spanning a modest 1,704 square feet. I think I'm gonna wrap up this house tour here. After seeing Jamie Foxx's properties, what did you think? I wouldn't expect anything less than that Hidden Valley mansion from a star as accomplished as he is. It's also pretty damn cool that the estate is eco-friendly and solar powered, fancy and good for the environment. Be sure to let me know which of his homes you liked best and which you'd live in if you had the chance. I love his current home, but the place looks so massive, I feel like I'd actually get lost inside of there. Be sure to let me know down in the comments as well as which celebrity homes you want me to feature next. Follow me on Instagram so we can chat. Be sure to like, hit subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you all in the next house tour. Bye!